We arrest a man. We at, at the Babylon. We hate Babylon. We hate police. No to this police brutality. Try to make equal. Try to make humanity. I stand in for their family and thanks for all the sisters who came out and stand in for their brother and sisters who were lost in this uh, situation of the white supremacy and their, the Babylon system. Yeah, so the Babylon system is introduced to get rid of the black people and the, all the people of colors. This is not the first time, it's also it's not, it's not only in Deutschland that has happened, it's not only in USA, it's not only in France, or yeah, it's all happen, it's happened all over in the Babylon land. And we are fed up now. It is something that could happen to me also in, in, in any other day, that could also happen to any of my sister, that could happen to me, any of my brother in any of the days. This has been happening for a, lo a lot of times because uh, they are this, this, uh, like they, this, this guy, they say they are, he has a depression or something like a psychological problem or yeah. There are so many white, more white people are having psychological problems here in the street than us. But something like this, yeah, I have seen so many actions uh, with, between the white people and in in the street with the police and then they try they, they, no matter how difficult the situation are no matter how aggressive the situation are these these police they try to control this person and then making and making make him or her arrest and then taking the state case on something like this but the black with the black people this person end like that they they just try to end your life you know they all what they do they just say oh we want to try to protect our people our white people this system of the police is here to control, the, to, to take care of the white people. Even the African police, the police in Africa are also there, also taking, it's the system to take care of the white people and to make the white system look better. So, so most, of the, most of these police are all white people because they know the tax they are facing, they know what they, they're going to do, they know what their work is. Is their work is to hate. They are they, they is is a hate say section where they go into. That's why you don't see so many they, there is no Rastafari in the police system. If only only the people who are fighting for the white people are in the police system, but not the people who are fighting for the humanity and fighting for the equal right and justice in the police system. This system has been built a long, long ago since our four forefathers here here. And then is to create a disruption. It's the system that will put the black people in prison and then end up on, end up there losing their lives. There are so many. Not only this system is is there. Not only about that we are you are depressed or something like that. There can be simple minor that if, if the people are losing their life. That's hap that has happened to so many black people here. So. And since the time I saw this news that there is a young guy from Senegal who died here, and I'm from Gambia, I know we are Senegambia, we are, so it's the same line, it's the fucking borders which separate us all, but we are all the same kind of people. I know the life system there, I know how the neighbors and the people are uh, getting in touch with each other. I know how, how we love our people. So when, when, when I saw this news, I, I, the, the first thing I was thinking, I was thinking about the family of this person. So how they are feeling now, and how old about the neighbors in that, either in the village or in the town. I know that there will be a big, 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 big sorrow in that land. We, our people, you here, you don't even know your neighbors in the opposite of your house. But for us, we know the thing, if you can three kilometers away from our neighbor, we know it's order. We, there's so much big love. When one person died, there are going to be a thousand of people crying for this person. So when one of our patients died, it's a very, very big pain to us. It's not like just this, because I know you white people, you are thinking that the African people, they have like many, many children, they have like 20 children, 30 children. But if, if one of these children, that with this child died, it's more important to us than your, Michael, your Angela Michael died.
So we care more about our people than your, your, your Michael Angelo or your, your Donald Trump or your, your fucking people. I don't care about them. So we said no to this, no to this police brutality. It's end of, it's end of now. Try to make equal, try to make humanity, to protect our people, protect each and everyone. We are tired of now. We don't have any more, we are scared. So, when, when, when you look at the half a stress there, all the people that they didn't even have a razor of blade with them, they didn't even have a single weapon with them. But even there also, there are so many police with the guns there, with the machine gun. We don't, we are, we don't, we are not having guns with us. Why carrying, why even carrying at the, the guns at the first place? You already, you were already using the tear gas to people, you know, you are, you are having these electrical socks. You are using all these things. Still now, it's not enough for you. And then you end up you're not even shoot, shooting at the, at the legs or something like that. Even though it doesn't go into the shooting of the legs, just to finish the person. That's this is, uh, that's this kind of in, inhuman. Even the white people, the white, the white police, I don't, I, I'm not, I am against that for you to be killing your own white people for that. We value human. You, you have to value human. What are you thinking of? If someone kill your mother or your father or your brother or sister, you got them people. A blue clad to police them. A blue blue clad. <laughs>